let's have a look at making a nut milk. Now with whatever nut milk you want to make, you can do almond nut milk, you can do Brazil nuts, you can do hazelnuts. I'm going to do cashew nuts today because I really like cashew nuts as a milk. All you have to do guys, just soak your nuts overnight. Easiest way to do it, just soak them overnight. If you forget to soak them overnight, of course, what you can do, just put them into some warm water and then maybe about one hour or so, then they'd be ready to go to make the milk. The other thing, other little tip here for you is that you can, it doesn't matter how long you soak your nuts for. So it could go for two days, even up to three days if you forget. It's still perfectly okay to use them when you're gonna make your uh, nut milk. Okay, so let's have a, let me show you how easy and simple it is to make some nut milk. So I've got some water, I've got some cashew nuts. Now, when you soak your cashew nuts, don't use the water that you use to soak them with. Pour that aside, get some fresh filtered water, and that fresh filtered water is what you want to use to make your nut milk. If you want it a little bit sweeter, you could pop in a couple of dates without the pip and that will give it a little bit of sweet taste as well. So let's get started. Handful of nuts, you can see how easy it is just to start feeding the machine. It's crushing and pressing the nuts. Now this time what's happening is the meal, the nut meal, which you can use for cooking or baking, is coming out one side and the juice, the milk, will come out the other side. So a handful of nuts, a little bit of water, handful of nuts, a little bit of water. That's it guys. Really simple, really easy. A bit more water in there. And guess what? As a chef, you love to control all the ingredients. And for you at home, you can mix it however you like. If you want a two to one ratio, do one cup of milk to two cups of water. If you want it a bit thicker, let's go one cup to one cup. If you want it thinner, put four cups in. It's totally up to you. But what you'll notice is that when you buy uh, nut milks in the store, they may be 4%, 9%, 10% if you're lucky. So you can get a lot more of the nutrition of the nuts into the milk. I'll just grab another container to catch this milk in. Now look how much I've got there already. Nearly 400 mils of nut milk. And that's about half a cup of cashews and maybe one cup of water. All right, I'll just put a few more in. Let's just fill that bowl right up. Okay, so now keeping it all in the juicer, the advantage of a cold press juicer from Kuvings, the professional one, you've got this smart cap, keep it closed, and then just when you're ready, you can release the milk. Look at that, guys. Fantastic. Release the milk. Now that's gonna last four to five days in the fridge. You can make up a batch of a litre, or however much you wanna make at a time. And let me just pour it into the bottle for you. Can you see that milk? Now I don't know if you've made any uh, nut milk before at home. Most of the people, when you make nut milk, you use a blender, right? Or use a food processor or a different machine that's gonna blend it all up. And then you have to use a nut milk bag to squeeze out the nut milk so that you're extracting the milk from the pulp. When you use a cold press juicer, the Kuvings one specifically, it's already got the strainer in there for you. So when you're making the milk, you don't need the nut milk, you don't need all the extra work to try and squeeze out and get your uh, final product. So simple, let's do the taste test, shall we? Mm. The other thing you'll notice about when you have a cold pressed juicer to make your nut milk, there's no frothiness from the fast spinning metal blades. When you use a blender, it spins really fast, creates a vortex, and you get more of a aerated uh, nut milk. This is really creamy and smooth, and I think it's gonna work great in the next recipe that we're gonna make.